Hey guys, I'm using Mars Black and this Big Daddy again, uh, size 18 flat interlocking hog with a big brush. Just adding some water, bending it. I just want to cover the whole background of this one in black and then we're going to do some, some gold splatters because there is some behind her head. <coughs> me. So we'll do this, we'll let it dry. I'll probably do two coats of this because I'm uh, pedantic. <laughs> This is just a random thing that I decided to do, so I don't know if this will work out. Fingers crossed. If it does, you'll see this video. If it doesn't, you'll have no idea where I did this video. <laughs> and I never, ever, ever give myself enough paint. Everyone in this household has a cold, except me so far, but I'm just, just waiting. It's sneezing. Hopefully it's not too glary for you. I can't see what I'm filming right now and I just want to get this done and dried so that I can do the next layer. Because I want to have another painting up, because I'm in a painting mood. You know how you just have one of those, well, I'd like to say one of those weeks, but it's been a, one of those years, months, oh, I don't know how I did that, I got paint all over my face, oh yeah, anyway, just give this a good coat. I love this brush because it's thick, gets the paint right on and I may not need to do a second coat. Let's look at her, she's beautiful. I'm using a really long canvas here, I will tell you the size in a second. It is a, it's this one, I'm using Montmartre. 12 inch by 24 inch and I'm doing it landscape obviously and that one cost me seven dollars from the cheap shop here still not cheap really when you think about it when you've got all these canvases just laying around but yeah anyway I'm gonna let this dry and I'll see how I go we might do another coat we might not hey guys I haven't done I haven't done another layer of black because I didn't need to. It's very glary though, isn't it? I might turn off one of my lights. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you the black and white picture of what I'm painting. I got this off Adobe stock. Um, it's a uh, You've got to pay to be on that. So I don't think I can upload this picture onto Pinterest because you've got to you've got to pay to be a member. So I won't upload this one onto Pinterest. Uh, that's the actual picture. It's going to be gold and yeah. So what I'm doing, what I'm going to do now is these bits here that are behind her, all these bits here, so that it looks like there's some behind her and some in front of her. So yeah. Let's get on with it. Yeah. Okay, I just decided to paint in the lines instead. Makes it so much easier than having to tape all that down. I'll do the tape for the splatters though. This is just um, kind of like a guideline to where your splatters are going to be. I'll probably paint a little bit more black over the tops of these when I'm done. Because I'm not 100% happy with that. I need to darken that a little bit. I'm 
out here. I don't want much gold at all. You just want a shimmering of gold. And the rest are in front of her. Just going to get some more Mars Black and just go over this bit a little bit. Mixing a little bit of gold in with the black. Now just putting some gold on top. Some more gold. I haven't washed my brush so the black is going to still be on here because it's well, black is strong. Just want a little bit of gold, but I want mainly black. Just got some more black there. Just going to do a little bit on these ones here. See how it dulls down the gold a little bit because the gold splatters we're going to do we want looking pretty amazing. Might do some copper ones and some silver too. Don't know if you can hear my um, female pug boofing in the background. I've got the front door open, and if someone walks by, she'll sit there going, boof, boof. <sighs> Pugs. Got to love them. Just going to go over that. I went too far. A little bit of a dry brush there. Okie dokie. Okay, it's probably hard to see what I've done here, but yeah, it's, it's just a hod hodgepodge of paper because what I want to do now, I just mainly want the splatters to go in the lines and then I will remove that and I'll do a few splatters after I remo remove that so that they will be like this picture here. See how the majority of it is concentrated in the line, but there's also some out. So I'll just do one or two splatters when I take the paper off. Now I'm using this thing. I believe it's called a splatter brush. I'm not sure. And this should be fun because usually I use my fan brush to do splatters. But I thought I'd give this one a whirl since my husband bought it for me. And yeah, that worked. Ah, too watery. I think there's water in my paint for some reason. I'm using the paint, the rich gold from Jo Sonia. I'm going to switch it up in a minute. But I'm going to get some different paint because that paint.
get more silver than what I got. <laughs> I think I might go back to the fan brush. This brush sucks. <laughs> I'm going back to the fan brush. Okay, I found the one I use. It's an old crappy one. Really stiff. I have a different gold here that's covered in splatters. It's um, vintage gold. Okay, I've removed the paper and um, cleaned up a little bit. I might do some more. It's in a picture. They're, they're really round, and, and that was what I was going for. Now, splattering didn't quite get me the round that I wanted, so I'm going to go with. I have some rich gold here from Jo Sonia and this is this it is Montmartre, Montmartre acrylic medium gloss um, yeah basically any medium I think any um, Liquitex have a very similar one I can't think of the name if I do I'll um, write it in the thing below anyway I'm gonna mix this is a dotting tool um, yeah, I got this for polymer clay because I like polymer clay and you need a dotting tool and yeah, you get them for baking. I think I got them in a baking shop to be honest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and I'm going to do dots just where I want them on the canvas, okay? So I'm going to mix some more. Now I'm just going to go... They're more... Something's not dry. <laughs> They're more the shape that I wanted. It's going to take a little while. So I will put you in. Fast forward. Okay, I've just been sitting here dotting away with um, just a combination of the rich gold, the metallic copper, the iridescent silver and the iridescent gold. But I just want to show you what I'm doing with the lines, the, the harsh lines that I just didn't like, these ones along here. I've just got the gold, the rich gold, and I'm just doing dots just along the edge there just because it kind of blurs it a little bit.
So I'm just doing this on, on all the lines that I don't like. Because we want to like the painting we paint, don't we? So, yeah, I think if I was to do this again, I would smudge the edges a little bit instead of having to do all these little dots. But live and learn. That's how we learn what we like and how to do things. You know, I could just use a paintbrush, but I've got the dotting tool, so I may as well use it. Yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm just going along, blurring the edges and just doing lots of dots inside here because I just wanted it really dotty. <laughs> so I'll put you in fast forward again and you can watch me dot. Okay, I've done the dots and I have... <laughs> I've traced her in again, I've traced her in using the same method I did before. Wow, look at the cheekbones. Um, just chalk and then drawing over this. I'd use tracing paper if I had it, but I don't have it, so I'm not tracing paper. Um, transfer paper. But I don't have it, so yeah. You use what you've got. Now I'm just going over the outline so I don't lose it with yellow ochre. Uh, why did I choose yellow ochre? Because, I don't know, I just felt that it would be right. <laughs> I don't know. Could have chosen any colour, I think. But yeah, I'm just going over her outline so that I don't lose it because chalk will go away. And we don't want that. Now we have our trace in. I'm not going to worry about her hair right now because there's not much hair. I'm just going to do a skin tone. I'm just going to do a skin tone. I'm just going to figure out what skin tone I'm going to do because she's got a definite golden glaze. Bronze. Is it bronze or gold? It looks gold. Yeah, I'm going to call it gold. Okay, I've just mixed up a... Uh, skin tone recipe. I haven't done this one before. It was It's four parts Naples yellow To one part burnt sienna To a little speck of cat orange hue and That there is what I came up with it's not quite dark enough but it's a start. I'm going to grab my fill bit, which I didn't clean. <laughs> and I'm just going to go over her skin. Now for the hand, you want to go the direction of the hand. This is just the base. It is going to look like crap. But hopefully we can work it out so that she looks stunning. I always start with the brush I want to finish with because I was thinking about her face when I picked the brush so I picked the small filbert 
but this bit here needs a bigger brush so this is just that size 15 flat brush that's ah uh, I'm going to leave the contours of her lips there. Yeah. Changing over to the fill bit just for these small little bits here. I'm going to try not to paint over the yellow ochre bits there for the eyes either, just so we can know where they are. Isn't she looking beautiful? Okay, I'm just doing another layer of the um, skin tone, just, just using my filbert brush. Ugh, I do this every time, don't I? I get one that is too small. Every time. At least I'm consistent. Decided to go over the eyes and the mouth. I like to paint them in as in as I'm going.
I just want to darken the tone a little bit so I got one white uh, this is one part white one part ultramarine blue and one part alizarin crimson and I'm just going to mix them together and it's pretty purple <laughs> So I'm going to put a little bit over here just to see if this does what I want it to do. So one part of the dark to two parts of the skin tone that we had and it should darken it. Okay, I'm just using that darker one that we just did. I forgot the glue's in there, good. Now I'm just grabbing the uh, normal one with the glazing liquid. I'm just going to do it over here just because I want to blend this in. Right now I'm just forgetting about the hand. I just want to get the colours in of her skin. This is just glazing liquid. I don't, I haven't cleaned the brush, but I've just put glazing liquid on here just to mix it together. Now, oops, wrong one. <laughs> I nearly made it purple. Just the darker colour here that we mixed. I'm just going to go over it again. Just some more again. Still just using the darker one.
Now I have here, that's the normal skin colour that we made. This is just burnt sienna and I've just added it oops, to a little bit of that with some glazing liquid. Because this bit here is um, a lot darker. And if things aren't blending in, just grab your glazing liquid. Just going to get some titanium white. Okay, there's my white. There's my original skin tone. I want to lighten it quite a bit. Let's see how light that is. And then I'm just using this brush, it's dry, it's a uh, artist's choice, three and a quarter inch, three, three and a quarter inch I think, and it's dry, it's a flat brush, and I'm just going to gently blend this in. Dry it off. Blend some more. Just drying it off with my paper towel. Getting that darker colour, the one with the burnt sienna. I'm just going to put that line back in again that we just blended. And then I'm going to get the white here, a mixture of the white and the skin tone. I'm just going to put it down there. See, that's what my problem is. My ear is gone. My ear is supposed to be there. That's why I was having trouble soon. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. So I'm just doing this dark line again. Now I'll redo this white one and this white one here. And I've got my dry brush and I'm just going to blend it again.
And I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the dark here. Some white, or well, the white and the skin tone. This bit here. And then blend it again. I've just got that darker purpley color that we made and I've added it in to the skin tone. Don't forget your glazing liquid if you can find it. There it is. <laughs> Now I'm just going to swoop that down with the brush, blend it in a little bit. You know this hand goes here. I'm just redrawing in the shape of the hand. Got some of the white and the um, skin mixture. And the glazing liquid just to blend it in there. Just putting a dark spot here on her shoulder. skin tone colour on her palm here. Just getting some more burnt sienna because I've run out. Decided to get my mop brush number 20. Getting some white with skin mixture to make that light skin mixture tone. Just going to put this colour back in here again and then we're going to blend it in. I 
I'm just trying to avoid looking at that hand for a little bit because it's I have to get all the bits in that I know I can do before I can do it. I know I've done something wrong. Over here, I need to put some more black in. Just doing the light tone here again. And here. Here. And down here. And go blend it in. There's a darker line. It's just the darker makes ah wash your brush. Okay, this is the darker mixture with the skin tone colour, the purpley mixture and the burnt sienna. The necklace is going to go there. Don't forget your glazing liquid. And then blend it in. And you get the white again, or the lighter, the lighter skin tone mixed with the white and the glazing liquid. And just do this bit again and blend it in. Make this bit a little whiter and make this one a lot lighter. And then get the darker mixture and just reinforce this one again. You can make this bit down here darker too. Some glazing liquid just to make this the hair from the mop brush. Just gonna add another little bit of white hair so that I have something to blend that darker one into.
I'm going to get some glazing liquid to make sure that blends in. And I'm just going to put some skin tone, just a normal skin tone colour around it so it's got something to blend into. Because she has a very dark line going down there. Just going to draw in her eyelid here, just a basic outline. There is a dark spot here that joins onto the nose. Just getting some glazing liquid. So that I can blend all that together. Right now she's looking like an alien. This is just a normal skin color, skin color here. And then we just blend it in. more of the skin colour I've got to get her nose in
glazing liquid and the very light colored skin tone with titanium white. Just going to keep doing the darker, the lighter, the darker, the lighter. You know what, I'm getting rid of the head. <laughs> I, I'm just not in the mood for fighting. There's something that my brain just can't get today. Other days, yeah. I'm just tired, I'm grumpy. And my brain just won't understand what's going on with the shadows today. You're watching and have trouble with the face now too. I might put it back in. And magic, her hand is gone. But it's really bugging me that I couldn't do it, so I probably will put it back in. But right now I just had to get past it or I was never going to get past it. I feel like crying just because I couldn't get that done. Got to keep putting the colours down, blending, putting the colours down, blending.
just using black here to um, get her eyebrow in. Changing to a smaller brush just to do the nostrils. There's no label. It's like a flat brush. Um, sorry, uh, yeah, flat brush. So I'm trying to forgive myself for not being able to get that hand done, but it's really bugging me. So I'm just going to do these eyelashes here. Well, not the eyelashes, just the line where the eyelashes are going to go. Still using the black. Okay, back to up here. This one here is really... This one here is really bright. Draw in black the outline of her eyes and then of her mouth, sorry.
Now it's time to get serious. I'm getting the skin colour tone that we had, the, that, that is the Naples Yellow, Burnt Sienna and Cat Orange and I'm adding I'm adding a little bit of burnt umber. This here is, you see it, that's burnt sienna, that's our skin tone colour, titanium white, alizarin crimson. Now I'm adding some of the burnt umber to this to make it a little bit darker. And this is going to be to fix the chin up that I've done. So I'm using that darker, that darker one. Yeah, where the ear is, it goes there. We are going to get this done. It may not be with a hand. <laughs> Which is annoying because I know I can do hands. I just. Maybe not amazingly, but <laughs> I can do them. That's a little too light. I'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna to that normal skin tone colour just to add this bit here. Going back to the burnt umber and skin tone, just to get this shadow in of the chin. And it goes up and in. See, that's what I did. I forgot that it went up and in. I might give that a blend. Uh, this next bit on the face will be the skin tone with titanium white to make that light. Ah. Don't forget this. So I've got that lighter tone and the golden glazing liquid. Now we're getting the darker colour again, the burnt umber mixed with the skin tone. And we're going to do this beautiful cheek glazing liquid. I'm going to put some more of the normal colour here so that we can blend it all together. If you don't have the normal colours, or if you don't have something for it to blend into, it's not it's not gonna blend. Going over it with a little bit of the normal skin tone colour mixed with some burnt sienna. And there's going to be a dark spot there, there's going to be a light spot there. That is going to be dark and there's going to be dead fly in a minute. A light spot there. So now the next bit I'm doing is burnt sienna with the skin tone. 
just to get the darker darker bit there and that little darker and there's a definite darker bit here oh I'm gonna kill that fly <laughs> Blend. We're slowly getting there. More burnt sienna mixed in with the normal skin tone colour. Burnt Sienna mixed in with the normal skin tone. This bit here is going to be darker. Just adding a little bit more Burnt Sienna to that. I just want it a little bit... There we go. I just want it a little bit darker. I love my kids, I love my kids, I love my kids. Uh, titanium white mixed with the skin tone colour. A little bit more titanium white. <laughs> this bit here and here. Blend it in and do it again. Burnt Sienna mixed with the normal skin tone. Which I'm going to get a smaller brush for this bit. I have my, I think it's 16 on zero. 5 on zero detailer. I just want to get this nose drawn out how I want it. And that's not how I want it. Mm. Curved bit there. Oh, what is going on? Thank you. There is a curved bit there. Bit goes up. A bit goes there. Don't see any skin tone color to fix up this mistake.
just going to get burnt sienna and normal skin tone color again because I want to fix up this mistake I shouldn't have painted before I don't know if you guys have it but there are times when I can paint and I can I can just bam 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 I could get it and there are times when I paint and I just mess the whole thing up so I just had to go pick my son up from school because it's Easter holidays here that is way too white <laughs> Yeah, it's Easter holidays here, so I just sat there, just looking at the picture that I took of this. This is the burnt sienna in the skin tone colour. Just doing it curved a little bit. Because we want this to go up there. Want this to go up there, and then it goes that way. I don't know why I'm using that brush. I really don't. Okay. Uh, burnt umber, glazing liquid, and skin tone. This bit here is really dark. This bit here is really dark. And this bit here is really dark. Then we're going to add in skin tone with burnt sienna just for something to mix it into just for now. I'm just putting this line in because I'm just having a little trouble figuring out where things are. And sometimes just putting that line in helps. Not happy with that. <laughs> I'm not happy with anything. Burnt sienna and a little bit of skin tone. Mainly burnt sienna though, because I want it. I want it dark. This bit here is dark, this bit here is dark, it goes there, this bit here is dark and then it goes oh what is wrong with this burnt sienna? Detailer, burnt umber, and 
normal skin tone, colour. Burnt Sienna and Skin Tone. Just fixing up this curve here. I'm just going to blend in that burnt umber line that we had there. Just blending in that burnt umber line, really, that's what I'm doing now. Doing a little triangle here with just a normal skin tone. Because now we're going to get the burnt sienna and the skin tone. I'm going to curve it up. nostril is way too big. That's better. Okay. This bit here and here is really light and down here as well. Fix up this little bit of face on near her nose. Burnt sienna, skin tone. Bit here, just and then a little bit of white and the skin tone. nose tip and bosom tip. The nose tip there is fairly fairly bright. And so is this bit here. Okay, okay. Now for these lips. So just doing these lips here, a little bit of burnt umber. And they go right up here. And they're partially open.
you know you live in the uh, iPad um, time when um, I was watching some kids walk home today and I wanted to see this kid's this kid's bag and my first urge was to get my fingers like that and go zoom <laughs> wait I can't do that I tell you in the afternoons it gets really hot in here and if I put the fan on Too noisy. A little bit of white. Got that um song hotline hotline bling in my head. And it's not one of my favourite songs. Let me put it that way. Doing some lines on her lips here, just doing um, titanium white and skin colour. Just doing gentle, soft lines here to show off the. Um, I don't know it has a. I know it has an official name. A little bit between your nose and your mouth. I know it has a name, I just can't remember it. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, just that bit there. Now her chin with burnt sienna and skin colour. Just want to Fix this bit up. I definitely want it darker than normal skin skin colour. <sighs> this pencil is really annoying me. I'm gonna get my detailer. Just having troubles under the lips. Is going to be a darker shadow, so I'm just going to get the burnt umber there so it doesn't blend in with the mouth. Some burnt umber, get this dark. Yeah. Burnt umber, skin tone colour. Don't forget the glazing look red. Just use some glazing liquid there to blend it in. Uh, titanium white and skin colour. Do this one. A 
lot more titanium white for this one because it is quite bright. And so is this one. Glazing liquid. Okay, skin color, burnt sienna. shadow here going back to my detailer brush uh, burnt sienna skin tone color don't really need to do too much on the ear because it's going to be covered by her pretty little dangly thing. Oh, okie dokie. Eyelashes, burnt umbar. and detailer. Same this side. The eyelids which are going to be burnt sienna and normal skin tone colour. It's lighter here. See how you got this light here and light goes down there as well. So we'll get some more titanium white and skin tone colour there. Skin tone colour, burnt sienna, and we're going to make this a little darker. We might get there. A little bit of burnt umber, just a little bit with skin tone. Glazing liquid, burnt sienna, oh sorry, burnt umber, skin tone. It's really hot in here, my paint's drying out. 
Okay, got my detailer, just burnt umber. Now I'm just going to do this bit of her eye. A little bit of burnt umber, um, skin tone. Mix it there. I'm just pulling down this burnt umber here to make her eye. Eyelashes and go over and put a little bit of they weren't burnt umber. You can do them in black. I just had burnt umber there. Do the same on the other side with the eyelashes, just not that much. Just a little bit of white. And this bit here. And this bit here. And here. She's getting there. I'm not going to do too much colour on her lips because I'm going to do them bronze or gold. I uh, still haven't decided about her fingers. <laughs> They've annoyed me. Might just darken this shadow up under her chin line. Blazing like red. I've lost my white on there, so I'm going to grab some more white with the skin color. Do my white line down there again. And I know I've said this before, but this bit here is like really white. Uh, white and skin tone colour. That was silly. It hurts a lot. Of course it does. Why? Because you did that. No, I didn't. A little bit of burnt umber there. And put that white back in. Getting some burnt sienna mixed with the skin tone colour because I just don't think that this is quite right. That's better. Uh, glazing liquid burnt sienna skin colour.
Okay, I got some rich gold and my filbert. I might change because it just. I don't know if I want this filbert. We're just going to make circles, different sizes. That is not thunder, that is my son bringing the wheelie bin up. Just in case I decide not to do the, the hand. What we have left is touch ups, some highlights, the hair, the balls in the hair, and the stringy things. I'll show you the picture. So we have. Still got to do the highlights and, and more of them. Still got to do the highlights and more of them. Any um, highlights that we need to fix up. The, just a little bit of hair and these bally things here. And then some splatter here in front of her. I don't know if I'm going to put glitter on her or not. And then um, toning her probably in, might do. She looks copper to me. She looks more copper than gold. Okay, I've zoomed you in a little closer. We're going to be doing the necklace here. I've got some of the rich gold and I've got some burnt umber. And I'm just mixing it to get the shadows for the gold. Because everything has shadows. It's early Sunday morning. I have just woken up. Well, I woke up before and I just I just wanted to get this painting done. I just wanted to do it. But I was tired. Change. I was using my number four round. But it's too big. So I'm going to go for this. It's like a flat, a really small flat. And that should give me more control. This is just the first layer and I'll go back over with the gold where I want the gold and then the highlights need to go on. There's also some more little balls that need to go on top of these ones. I still haven't washed my brush. 
I've just got some more burnt umber. I'm trying, there we go, to do some lines like that just to indicate a, a chain. Two of my three boys are up, the two younger ones, of course. The other one is a 16-year-old teenager. So he's not going to get up to probably lunchtime if I let him, <laughs> which I don't. <laughs> I do sometimes. Sometimes I'm nice. You know, he gets up pretty early for school, so school holidays, I do let them have a sleep in. I'm not that mean. Plus they leave me alone <laughs> when they're asleep. I also have two beautiful girls. They don't live here though because they're in their 20s. When you're in your 20s, you don't want to live with your mum. Gold and do the gold again. So I've just got the rich gold, no burnt umber, just the rich gold. And I just want to, you know make sure that this is gold it's mainly in the middle of the um, beads there and just a little bit on the edge where the gold is the rest is shadows or highlights Up here they are a lot darker so they don't really, because her chin is covering them, so they don't really have too much gold on them up there. Over here they're quite bright, so they'll have, um, we'll put some more highlights on these ones over here. And once I've done the highlights on these ones, I'm going to add some more gold balls. Golden balls. <laughs> that reminds me of a show I used to watch when we lived in England. It's called Golden Balls. <laughs> I actually enjoyed it. It was not a rude show. It was a game show where they had golden balls. <laughs> Rinse your brush off, get some of that titanium white we just had and mix it with a little bit of gold. Just a teeny tiny. You want more white than gold. And this, this one here, if you can see it. See how it's only a little bit of gold in there? And that's what I want. Now over here we have our highlights just about everywhere. They're balls of highlights. Oh, I have this <coughs> I have this robot vacuum. Oh. I Love that it vacuums for me sometimes. See, I, I vacuum every day because I have pugs and kids and I probably vacuum two, three times a day. And so we got this other vacuum just to help out sometimes. Oh, if I'm not controlling it, telling it where to go, I'm standing over it, watching it, making sure it's going where I want it to go and it never does and then it gets stuck. Oh, God. I don't think I'll buy another robot vacuum again until it's like really smart.
going to put a little bit more burnt sienna in there. Actually, no. I'm going to put some burnt umber in there. want it the colour of, well, sorry, <laughs> that colour. Four filbert. I don't mind that it's streaky, that doesn't bother me. Oh, this filbert is dead. Making some more balls. Getting that hair colour with the burnt umber, the burnt sienna and the raw sienna and I'm just doing the base colour again. And I'm just going to get just burnt umber and my round brush that I was using before, the size just burnt on but and I just want to while this one is still wet I just want to mix some of this in here just kind of like giving a highlight I might just get some raw umber, sorry, raw sienna. Just raw sienna on its own. And I'm just going to mix some of it through as well. Just while it's wet. I didn't wash my brush. Raw sienna and what? Just trying to get it the way I want it. Too much what? So, what I do is I get the hair colour and I just go back over it. Getting my detail brush, five on zero. Yeah, that was my neck. Make sure it's wet. Uh, use the burnt sienna, raw sienna, and burnt umber hair mix. And you just want to
I'm gonna go back to these golden balls. We're gonna do the shadows on the ones we just did. So that's the burnt umber and the gold mix. which I'm going to see if I can cheat and use the hair colour that we had. This is the raw sienna, burnt sienna, burnt umber. Because the whole area where this necklace is, she's going to have a shadow from it. Still got my round brush, got some burnt umber, couple of streaks in here. Like I said, we don't need to do too much here, it's going to be covered. Well, I'm gonna go back to my, I'm gonna go back to my detail brush, five on zero. I'm just gonna get, the burn umber, the hair mixture, the titanium white. I'm just going to get some of them just to while I'm waiting for the hair to dry and just do these if you didn't make if you didn't put the hand in then or if you're going to continue putting the hand in don't do this okay i've got my round brush size four and i'm gonna do some dots some circles
rich gold with my number four round. I'm just going to do woo, that drip again. I'm just going to do some more dots. And that drip good in my paint. silver stands out a little bit more no pattern to these just drawing a line joining the dots I'm going to add some of the iridescent gold, just just a couple, just to add a different coloured gold on there. Might add some of this just down here on her necklace. Just gonna add a little bit of um, like to it, like pull it up so a little bit of paint comes up as well. A little bit of texture. Just getting the silver again, just to draw a couple of lines, not too many. Now there is the glazing liquid, this is the rich gold. You don't want much rich gold at all, you just want to tint the glazing liquid. Might put a little bit of iridescent gold in there too. See how it just kind of shimmers, just goes over it. Our face looks gold now, but not too gold as if to 
basic. She's definitely getting a shimmer. Just using the same colours as before and the dotting tool and just just dotting a path along her with these they come down from her shoulder across. I want her eyelids to shimmer a little bit more, so I have this, um, it's Pearl X basically, uh, like shimmer powder. You put it on clay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of uh, golden glazing liquid. And put it on the eyes. And I'm going to get a paintbrush. See, it's absolutely beautiful. See how much shimmer that adds. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to put a little bit on her lippies as well. Really don't need much, a little goes a long way. And because she seems very shimmery right here. I mean, if you could put this all over the place, 
if you so desired but I just want to do just a little bit and that I believe is her finished except for signing because I'm not happy with the way that um, I accidentally went over her eyelashes I'm just gonna draw this line in Mars Black back in Pardon me, I drink way too much Pepsi. <laughs> now I'm just going to draw in a couple of little eyelashes here. I lost the black here. There she is. Actually, I might do a um line of the oops, don't touch wet <laughs> when it's dry i'm going to do a line of the pearl x along there and that'll be it you see how shimmery see how shimmery that is i'm annoyed that i didn't get to do the hand but next time so yeah, there she is, gold lady. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for watching.